from Drakensang. Hello, what have we here? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong. Well, well. It was Armstrong, all right. I'm sure of it. Excellent work, Archer. What do you want us to do now? Try to interview the Baron at his estate. We need to know if he's involved. You think it might be someone within the organization? I'm hoping that you and Goodman can answer that question. Aye, sir. We'll do our best. Let's go. Tails. Heads. Damn it! Ah, oh, don't pout. Your eyes get all small and piggy when you're sulking. How are you planning on getting in there anyway? I'll charm my way in. Well, I hope you brought some secret charm powder or something. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. I've got better weapons in mind. Like what? You've been staring at them all afternoon. Huh? How'd you like to be swept off your feet? Yes? Good afternoon. My name is Mia Haig. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Men of Influence? What on earth are you doing here? This is the residence of Baron Archibald Dumas, is it not? Yes. Baron Dumas certainly seems to qualify as a man of influence, wouldn't you say? I suppose it would depend on how you choose to define influence. He is the president of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Ah. He's wealthy. True. He's well respected. Hmm. He's dashing. <coughs> He's debonair. L listen, this is all very educational, but what exactly do you want? I was hoping to profile Baron de Maw for our perfect live series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify perfect... And you wish to include his lordship in this series? Yes. The idea is to penetrate the myth and get to know the man. His pastimes, his ambitions, his accomplishments, the things that make him... I see. He's a model aristocrat. Ah. Someone our readers can look up to. Of course. Will you excuse me for a moment, Miss Haig? I don't think I could forgive myself if I were to let this sublime opportunity pass by. I will discuss your request with his lordship and return... Thank you. Please, wait here. I shan't be a moment. Very well. His lordship has agreed to see you. Excellent. This should be amusing. What do you mean? Nothing. Follow me, please. Miss Haig, sir. Splendid. Show her in. I'll leave you to your interview, darling. I'll be shopping for the rest of the afternoon. Yes, yes. Have a marvelous time, Chipmunk. Don't call me that. As you wish, my love. Pip pip. He's rather larger than I expected. Ah, yes. He's a big bundle of charisma and intelligence. If you're lucky, perhaps he'll regale you with his rousing safari adventure. Good day, Baron de Maul. Goodness, had I known you would be so sumptuous, I might have preened. Care for a drink? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, I'll indulge for us both in that case. I hope you'll pardon me for saying so, but you're a ravishing girl. Simply... That's very kind of you. I'm sure your wife feels absolutely spoiled by your abundant charm. 
Oh, she's a lucky old crow, I'll grant you that. Now then, Giles tells me you want to profile me for this magazine of yours. Yeah, men of influence. Yes, each issue we cover a different person in our Perfect Lives series. Someone whose lifestyle and achievements serve as inspiration for our... Jolly good. You've come to the right place. That will be all, Giles. Actually, sir, I thought it might be worthwhile for me to stay. In case the young lady should desire... Anything. Splendid idea. Pip, pip. Yes, sir. I'll be right over here if you require anything, Miss Haig. Thank you. Baron Dumont, do you mind if I record our interview? I'd rather devote my attention to you than to my notepad. And who could blame you? Record away, my dear. Uh, so then, where shall we begin? Clearly, it takes a savvy, intelligent individual to succeed in business where you have. What's your secret? Well, I, uh, suppose it takes a solid appreciation of, uh, the fundamentals of business success. Once you have that, the rest is easy. Many men with such immense wealth succumb to sloth or immoderation. How do you keep yourself productive and effectual in the face of such constant temptation? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, an ingenious question. Well, you see, a man has certain choices he can make. Some choices are wise ones and some are not. So, I suppose you could say that making wise choices is an important step in one's tireless quest. I'm sure our loyal readers would love to know what hunting rifle such a magnificent sportsman favours on safari. Ah, yes, indeed. Well, it depends to some degree on the beast I'm tracking. For a tiger, I tend to favour the legendary Matterhorn Model 4 Special. Isn't that a 22 caliber target rifle? Uh... Seems a bit feeble for a tiger. Y yes, but I savour a challenge. How intrepid! You must be quite a marksman to take down a tiger with a single round from a twenty-two. Well, sometimes it takes a few more than that. Still, even three rounds is impressive. It's usually more like seventeen or eighteen. Really? You might find a larger caliber to be more humane. Yes, but then you have to deal with all that nasty recoil. I see. you have quite a collection of fine art about the place. Who are some of your favourite painters? Oh, I like them all. But surely there must be one or two whose work stands out for you. Certainly. I, uh, well, Fipstein is probably my favourite. I'm not familiar with his work. Not many people are. It's quite smashing. I'm sure you'd love it. What movement? Excuse me? Is he an impressionist, surrealist, constructivist, pointillist? Yeah, a little of everything, actually. He's quite versatile. Really? Do you have any of his work about? Normally, yes, but it's out being cleaned. Cleaned? Yes, those old paintings get so dusty. Ah. Is there anything that can strike fear into the heart of such a stalwart hunter as your... Frankly, no. Really? Nothing at all? Not that I can think of. Not even centipedes? Oh, dreadful things. Uh, yes, I suppose, perhaps centipedes. Personally, I'm terrified of rats. Oh, God, yes. Those beady, evil little eyes and sharp little vermin teeth. Horrible animals, especially... And spiders. Oh, don't even mention them. How did you become so courageous? Oh, just something one's born with, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 
I imagine you've traveled to many exotic locales across the globe in your many daring adventures. Is there any place you favor above all others? Ah, most certainly. Let me guess. Kenya. Oh, goodness, no. I don't speak a word of Chinese. But Kenya's in Africa. Oh, I thought you were referring to the one in China. All right, then. How about Bengal? Cold weather doesn't agree with me. Rhodesia? Heavens. Madagascar? Not on your life. Where, then? Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm quite fond of Bristol. Partridge? Yeah, pandas. Giant pandas. Bristol, England? Yes, indeed. I wasn't aware of any giant pandas in Bristol. Well, they're important. I see. How has your approach to running Dumas Industrial Enterprises differed from your late father's? I'm not really sure what approach my father used, but I like to run things strictly by the... By the book? Yes, you know, according to policy. But whose policies? I'm afraid that information is strictly classified. Next. What historical figure do you most admire? Hmm, probably uh, Beowulf. Um, I was thinking of historical rather than fictional individuals. Well, I was referring to the historical Beowulf, not the fictional one. You mean the one who slew Grendel and his mother? That's right. He's a fictional character. Yes, I know that, but there was also an historical one. The Beowulf who fought the dragon? Precisely. But there aren't any dragons. Well, not anymore, thanks to Beowulf. There weren't any to begin with, unless you count the dinosaurs, that is. But there weren't any of those wandering around during the time when Beowulf would have lived if he were a real person instead of a fiction. Are you quite sure? Yes. I see. Well, that's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive this will be our most popular Perfect Lives installment. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated, and maybe even a bit envy. One can hardly blame them. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist, etc. Aren't you... Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Dumas Enterprises these days. Strictly in an advisory capacity, you see, to keep the... How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. But isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just, you know... Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Safes can be cracked. It's not a concern. Why not? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss such matters, even with a young lady as charming as yourself. Thank you for your time, Baron de Maul. It's been an eye-opening experience. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. Well done, Agent Archer. You may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Report there immediately. <laughs>